huge day, Independence Day, not just for the country, but Mahindra and Mahindra as well. Now, the company is really embarking on a new journey. There's been a lot of talk about the electrification that's going to be happening with its portfolio. And at the heart of it all is MADE, the new design center that's been set up in Banbury in England. The man of the moment is Pratap Bose, and we want to get a little bit more insight on what these five cars that have been shown today are all about. So thank you, Pratap. It's great to see you always. And it today always. it becomes even more special. Independence Day, the launch of something so big and so new and so momentous. A uh, great day for your team. Yeah, you know, uh, Sid, first of all, thank you for, for coming across. It's always a pleasure to see you, meet you, chat with you. You've been a supporter for years. Not me, just personally, but also professionally. Of course, 15th August means a lot to Mahindra Group. Uh, we did the Thar uh, two years ago. We did the XUV 700. Last year. And yeah. last year, and you know, this this 15th August, we are uh, opening our brand new studio here in Banbury, in Oxfordshire, and we showcased five born electric, you know, new cars. So I couldn't be happier. You know, there's been a lot of uh, speculation and a lot of conversation around, you know, what's going to happen with electrics at Mahindra, you know, to be or not to be, I can now say that. But now we know for sure it is to be. Yeah. Um, very quick word on, you know, why the need or why the thought process of having these two separate brands, XUV and B. Correct. Um, see, we have four, let's say, legendary brands, right? Bolero, Thar, Scorpio and the XUV. And they have a, a very strong customer base, mm. A, but they also exist in the ICE world. And we felt that we wanted to create one brand which was purely EV, so it would not have an ICE uh, counterpart. And so we found you know, that we could do a new brand. There was space to attract new, new customers into the brand. And uh, there was no better way to do it than a pure electric only Car, car brand and, and B is that and on the other hand all our legendary brands we felt that the XUV is the one we can bring electrification to the quickest right the fastest it's, it's also the most sophisticated most sophisticated, at the top of the pyramid yes yeah. people have that expectation sure and we're going to do it with 400 as you know and then the E8 that you also saw today and then the E9 you know, XUV E9 and XUV E8. So is the 400 going to be uh, an unnamed model on the electric side? Is it the XUV E no, something? No, so it will be the 400, as you know, Rajesh and, and all of us have all already said. Uh, and that, that remains that. Why do these switch to XUV E naming, 8, 9, etc.? Is because it's on the new Inglo architecture. These are not adapted EVs from an ICE product. These are actually the whole they are born electric that you still. saw, yeah, yeah. yeah. Happens to have the 700 top hat. Of course, we've redesigned the front completely. And the E9 is a all new, brand new car. And not to say that, you know, the other legacy brands in the future won't move into the same space, like sure. an electric Scorpio or an electric Thar. Sure, sure. A specific design characteristic that separates then XUV and B for you. So even in the four brands, a Thar is very different yeah. to a Bolero, different to a Scorpio, different to the XUV. XUV is all about athleticism, etc, etc, and presence in, in its form. The, the bees, we wanted to go sharper, more monolithic. It is. Uh, if you see, it's very angular. Mm. Uh, surfaces are very clean and they look electric. Whereas, you know, from, from our, any of our legendary brands, like I said, they need, they come from an ice world. They will coexist. They as have ice. a little bit of that silhouette still. Yes. So they will have a certain design language, which is their own, right? And uh, there are four very distinct design languages. So for the, for the B uh, brand, we've created this new language. It's very sharp, almost product design-like. Yeah. Uh, if you see the way the shut lines are treated, the way the gaps are treated, they're very tight. And it sets up this, almost this visual language that it is an EV. So how anxious are you and your team about all of that getting translated to production? Because especially when you look at lighting or like you said, shut yeah. lines, you know, this is very precise and it has to be that way for it to really come across the way you want it. To. I completely agree. And you know, BO5 is one of the products which will be first in the, in the B range, uh, you know, the one you saw uh, earlier today. And I can tell you, you know, with our colleagues at MRV, that's the car you'll get. Mm. It's hard to believe and you know, I've done concept cars <laughs> in the past, I, I talk about 70%. This one is 90, 95% that car. And uh, no one should mistake it to be a concept car at all. 
This is a really a pre-production. Near review. production. Yeah. yeah. What about things like headlights and fog lights, yeah. etc.? I mean, how we are seeing very slim elements here. Yeah. What part of that will change? None. None of it. None of it will change. We have a we have a headlamp strategy. We've now shown you the DRL strategy. That's a signature, and it'll come in this form. Roof line. You know, we're seeing a lot of coupe-like silhouettes that are sort of across all all the cars you've shown today, in either a more apparent or a slightly more subtle way. Correct. Is that in, is that something that will sort of be intentional? Yes. In the in the B brand, we feel you know uh, the roof lines can be faster. Yeah. Uh, you know, we don't know yet if we'll ever do a seven-seat car, for example, which influences the silhouette. You know, Scorpio N. Uh, While on the XUV side, you of XUV, course will. Yeah, so, exactly. So yeah. you know, you have to have the difference yeah. also. Yeah. Uh, there's got to be also some fundamental product differences. It can't just be two different brand names and some surface <laughs> language, right? It's got to appeal to a different customer set. And uh, we've seen that in this 4.3, 4.4, 4 4.5 meters, you want this something really dynamic with a lot of presence. Look how wide these cars yeah. are. And big wheels, wheels pushed out to the edges. Pushed out a lot, yeah. And uh, I must say, you know, uh, working with the MRV team uh, that uh, that Velu, Velusan runs, it's a, it's an absolute delight for a designer. A lot of talk about modularity today. What about sub four meter? So is this that, is that on the envelope right so now? So B O five is the smallest car you can get on this version of Inglo uh, because of you know literally it's physics, right? So it, you know you have to package the sixty. Sure. Kilowatt or 80 kilowatt between the wheels. You want to have the range so, and the safety. Yes, built and in. It, so it drives you to a certain size. So 4.3 is the smallest we can do on this form of Inglo. Uh, but who's to say in the future we may don't look at something smaller? You're not closing the door on that. No. All right. So one last thing um, in terms of presentation, of course, we understand you know the need for a show car sort of effect. Yeah. But specifically this color, and then also on the XUV yes. that you've shown the blue. Yes. Um, is are we? Do I read something into that? Are they like? Uh, signature colors so or family the, colors. Yeah, for the XUV, you saw the blue uh, on the E9. You saw the blue with the copper yeah. uh, belt line. You know, the copper is the signature. That you said, even the logo is going to be copper. Correct. And twin you peaks. Know, why did we choose copper? Electrons still flow through copper. You know, at the <laughs> end of the day, you can you can do what you want, but electrons flow through copper, and that's a color we thought was great for the accent. The bees, we've kept them, like I said, monolithic, so they've got the satin finish. Uh, we it, it's producible already today. Uh, we'll have to see, of course, the suitability in India, etc. But that's the signature we gave the B side. Uh, you know, these greys, darker, more, more monolithic tones. Uh, whereas the E9 you saw is really dynamic, it's flamboyant. Uh, you know, it look amazing on the streets of Delhi, Bombay, whatever, all our cities in India. And uh, it'll create that visual presence and that visual impact. You know, I think people will turn and say, what the hell was that car? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I know you got to go. One last thing, the interior, there's been a lot of talk about that end-to-end -end screen. Do you think that sort of ends up dominating the conversation? Because there's so much else, right? There's yeah. other things that color, palette, material yeah. that you are going to play yeah. with anyway. Yeah. Uh, but the screen becomes so literally center of attention. Absolutely. See, you know, there's layers of reading a, a design, right? So <laughs> yeah. when you get in, yeah, when you first get the car, you will, of course, your conversation piece will be that edge to edge, which is what we wanted. But as you live in the car, you, you, you live with the car, you start noticing everything else. So you don't have to have everything at one layer. It's like, you know, you have a headline, you have a body text. Keep peeling right? the onion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. you know, there's something which grabs your attention first, it becomes a talking point, but then you start noticing the rest of the story. But you think it's important for tech to lead that conversation in today's age? That's the position we have taken. Yeah. Uh, say, you know, we feel uh, people, people put a lot of value to those things today, uh, to stay connected, to stay entertained, not disturb the driver. Uh, like I said, the HMI is very, very intuitive. You don't have to go to multiple layers of, you know, menu <laughs> to change something, yeah. voice command, you know, there's lots there yeah. which, which really makes it a calm place to be. And of course, when you want to switch it off, you can, you know, so. Calm place to be. I like that. We'll end on that. Thank you. I know you've had a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of uh, hard work in the last one year. Yeah. But congratulations. And I know that the next two years will be also a lot of hard work to get all of this to market. So Absolutely. can't wait. But we will do that. So thank you again for coming and it's always a pleasure. Great to be here. Thank you.